By the way, I think you're doing a good job. I mean, we elected you to cut the spending. You're trying. Keep trying. Thank you. On that note, what's been bothering me lately is that the Secretary of the uh, Treasury, Geithner, has been saying for the last couple of months that the world is going to come to an end of the debt ceiling isn't raised. And yeah. Yeah. my concern yeah. is... My concern? All right. My concern is um, the Secretary of the Treasury saying basically that there's a possibility of default by this country uh, if the debt ceiling isn't raised. The issue is we take in over two trillion, granted we spend three point six trillion. As my as I understand it, the Secretary of the Treasury has the discretion and the authority as to which bills will be paid. So there is no reason for the default issue to be raised unless the Secretary of the Treasury intends not to pay those bills. And what I can't understand is why someone hasn't either called for his resignation or called him to a hearing to say, you shouldn't be in the job if you can't, uh, if you're raising an issue of default over which you have control and have the money to pay those obligations. Well, the, originally the, the date for Date by which uh, the President and Secretary Geithner were asking the Congress to raise the debt ceiling was in May. Uh, as many probably people here know, we eclipsed the debt ceiling this week. Uh, Secretary Geithner has indicated that he's got enough funds to pay our obligations until August 2nd. The reason of that is that we're spending more than we're taking in. We're still doing that. And despite some of the reductions in spending that I've advocated for and voted for, some of which uh, those spending reductions were bipartisan, passed the House and set it by, in bipartisan fashion, signed into law by the President, it's a small step forward. It's nowhere near where we need to get in order to get back to balance. We roughly have to cut 70 to 90 billion a month in order to get our spending under control. So, what the discussion in Washington right now is if there is going to be the raising of the debt ceiling. There are several things that have to accompany it in order to fundamentally change how the government of Washington spends your money. And I would say there's three components. Number one, you need immediate short-term spending reductions to start to get our immediate budgets back into balance. Secondly, you need some long-term spending reductions. So long-term obligations, we've got to come up with some solutions as to how to reduce those uh, unfunded liabilities. And then finally, process and procedure change so we don't get in this situation as a country in the future. And look, I, I think most of us agree that there's no one party who got us here. There's been many people in power over a long period of time who got us to this point. So we now need to acknowledge that as a country. We need to recognize that. But we've got to do the right thing and say enough is enough. Yeah. You're spending too much money. And you've got to change that philosophy and that, that public policy approach. Um, we have not seen a bill crafted yet. As you may know, there's a working group with uh, Vice President Biden and members of the House and the Senate trying to come up with an agreement um, I'll give you an example. If the debt ceiling request uh, for raising it is a trillion, what House members are saying is that you have to, at least at a minimum, have one trillion in spending reductions, if not more. So what about add a little bit of, you know, the revenue that we have lacked since Reaganomics? Since oh, the Republican Party era oh. decided that revenue was oh. an evil. Well, in terms of revenue, um, again, I think Washington is spending too much money. When you are spending $3.7 trillion, you're only taking in $2.2 trillion. There's a disconnect. Now, there are those who say raise, raise revenues. How many people want me to vote for tax increases to get to that $3.7 
meet our objectives and our obligations and responsibilities. But Congress needs to be fourth rate with the country. You need to know the truth on how your dollars are being spent. And I think our first obligation is to find ways to be more effective and efficient in managing the country. Let's try to put that public policy in place first before we look at any other you know, revenue generating uh, uh, public policies. I want to thank everybody for coming. Thank you very much.